so now css border radius properties so we already seen i think we have idea but anyhow we will go for a deeper way so first we'll go for this uh, uh, content patch so border we already know so then what is the border radius so border radius is the one property in the css we are going to apply the border for a, or what you can say like a, a border different types of borders and all so either we are using a border with the image or we are using with the border color and all so for that we are going to be create a file index 11.html so it is taking us some time because it is going to be installing or initiating my packages so that's why it will take us some time no worries <coughs> DOC enter uh, the H2 the border radius. So, what is the border radius in the sense? We will discuss about uh, the border radius. So we know about the border. What is the border radius? <clears throat> we can set the border for the color and we can set for the border for the element. We can set the border for a, uh, what you can say, mm, uh, like uh, mm, normal uh, elements. Okay, first I will take uh, a div hash one okay so one is an id so i want to take a like a three id i will take do copy second one i will take a do hash two and a third one will take a do hash third okay so this is how it will work one two three is there okay so now if i run means so normal it will give the uh, like uh, it will not give anything because we have not mentioned uh, anything uh, so the border radius is there uh, okay fine so I want to write a border radius for this one I want to write a style for the style I want to take a first one what I will do hash I am using a id so that's why I am using a, a div sorry uh, hash so that is a for one open close brace enter so first border radius so what is the border radius i will add a 25 pixel and i want to set a <coughs> background color so background color is something you can give uh, light blue and i want to set up padding uh, padding is about like uh, 40 pixel and we need to set the height and width so uh, height is a uh, like uh, 200 pixel and uh, width equals to 300 pixel okay control s so if i just go to the my output so this is how the border radius so how the uh, these edges are making the border radius this much means so this is the thing if i just remove delete it control s if i see means normal square border is there so i want to make a little bit uh, uh, cutting edge of the border so we need to use a border radius 25 pixel so if you use a minimum 5 pixel so little bit border edges see 
there is a slight cut in the edge if i just use the 15 control s if you just go here there is a little bit edge is there just i will use a 25 control s okay the next is what for the second one i will take for the second one uh, what we are going to do we are going to be uh, normal so what is the second one hash t w o for the id o so this is the two is an id so that's why i am using if it is a class i am using a dot okay same thing uh, border radius 25 pixel and uh, i will not set any background color or something like that so just uh, uh, what we can uh, what we can do i will <coughs> i will set add a border 2 pixel solid black okay mm -hmm. then the normal height and width we are going to do so uh, let's say padding padding i will add a 40 pixel and uh, the height and width the same i will copy control c and uh, control v see this is this is the first view css and this is the second view css control s if i just go here so this is how it looks okay and the third one what i will do so i will write the css for this one so for this hash uh, something t h i r d third open close brace so here border radius is a 25 pixel and uh, i will add a background image here background image url i will use a and already we have used a background image somewhere here yeah so i will take this image only copy then we'll add here okay same i will use a padding and everything is same control s if you go to the browser see here so we are using the border radius 25 pixel for the all the border i have set the background color here here it is a just box and here it is a background image <coughs> if you want to make a space between the elements how to do you need to add a break you need to add a break you need to add a break control s if i see here see this is how it looks okay so this is called a, the css borders okay so then uh, <clears throat> one more thing is like a, if you want to set a border radius for a specific uh, location okay so just uh, i will uh, border radius 25 pixel and 10 pixel i can do like this also control s so remaining is 0 0 control s if i just go here see here this one this one top and right is a uh, edge is there here it is no edge is there so if i use a one more 35 pixel control s you just see the second box see here this one this one this one is cutting edge but this is not a so if you want to make this one also so just use another 60 pixel or any anything so you can give the border radius like this also okay so this is the top right bottom left like a uh, left corner right corner bottom corner a uh, bottom left corner see bottom top corner so this is called a bottom top corner uh, sorry top uh, left corner right uh, top right corner bottom right corner bottom left corner so this is how we can apply the csr so if you want to make a circle so just what you have to do i will select ctrl c ctrl f so just i will paste here 
I will replace with the fifty percent. Wherever border radius twenty five pixel is there, so I will replace with the border radius fifty percent. Just do replace all. So just remove this one. Okay. Controllers, see instead of twenty five pixel, I removed a uh, added a fifty percent controllers. If you just go here, see if you want to make a circle, so you can do like this. It is something it looks oval. So why because so you need to make a height and width common. So wherever control C, control F, wherever width three hundred is there, I will do width two hundred because height and width the normal. Okay, two hundred. Uh, replace all. Now height is two hundred, width is two hundred. Now it will looks a exact circle. See here. If you want to set the border radius like this. Okay, so this is called a what you can say the border radius. Okay, so now uh, this is called a uh, border radius. Then. You can set the border style also. Okay, what is the border style? So this is a uh, border radius, either circle or cutting edge, and everything we have done. So if you want to set the image for this one, okay. So how to do? <coughs> Sorry, so for this one, I will use a border image. But the second one, I will use a uh border image so url i will use this one only let's see what is it control c control v control s okay so border Twenty pixels solid, sorry transfer. See here, this is how it will apply the border. This one and this one, this one, this one. So why? Because we are using the border. So uh, this is a how uh, it is going to be apply the border image for this one. So just I will remove the height and width. Let's see what is the output. Yeah, it's showing like this because uh, we are using the like. See, we can use a border image like this, okay? But rarely we are using a border image like this. So just have an idea like that. So you are going to be use the border image as well. Okay, so you can able to use a border image as well. The next is a a background image. So we already know. So this is all about a border. The next we are going to discuss about a background image. So background image we have uh, done many times, but there is a some more properties we are going to do it. So document, control S, then H two, border image. Sorry, the the CSS background image. So background image we are going to be apply. Okay, so first is water. First, we'll go with a, a background image. So we already know this one. Uh, just now we have used. It. So just I will use the, this background image. Okay. So what are the properties? So I will take a do hash demo. Demo is my uh, ID attribute and a style and a hash demo open close brace. I want to set the background image. So background image is the URL and the control V. So this is we are using. 
the next is water <coughs> first see the output right click open with the live server okay it's not loading what is the mis what is the problem so do you already okay so i will set the padding 100 pixel top right bottom and all okay so this is a how the uh, it will display okay we have already set up see here what happens it is repeating here so here the image is cut again here it is image is cut so i don't want to repeat this one okay so what is the command so that is the uh, background repeat no repeat control s if you see here the only one image because so this is the one image is there so that is a, a background repeat but and one more uh, property will come background position either i can position here i can position here or here or here okay so just i will use a one more property called a, a background position so right uh, right bottom control s c okay what is why it is see your div is taking uh, only this much space okay why here it bottom means you you have ideal sir bottom means here but uh, where i am uh, displaying this one i am displaying inside the tube okay so now right bottom means this one here it is displaying here okay so if you want to like a uh, uh, left bottom means it will come left side okay so if you want to make a, a like okay uh, i will use a padding it so the height will be 600 pixel control s c you got it right so left bottom uh, right bottom means it is going here right bottom and right top control s it is going here so this is called a background the position wherever you want to set the image okay so as of now i will remove this one by default it is going to be there in the left corner okay so instead of uh, what the control control is 40 pixel okay so now what happens here huh. <coughs> I want to add a one more image. So we added a one image. I want to add a one more image. So that is the URL. So you need to add a one more URL. Then you can add. So how to get the image? The Pixabay images go here. <coughs> so search for the nature enter right click inspect so that is the no copyright image should be there that is the one thing you need to take care so here what happens no copyright So you will get a no copyright images. So from there, okay, photos. 
or else we can take uh, any images on the internet okay i think we have images here yeah we have a one more image so forward slash img control s we'll go to the browser so what is the mistake in respect we'll go to the console so is any error is showing no then what is it why it is not displaying okay we'll see uh, background images this one correct then this is the url and uh, this is the second url control s or else i will do two times copy control v control s right click open in the live server okay still it is not displaying so it has to be displayed live reload okay it has to be displayed the two images so we'll see what is the mistake i think no mistake here so just i will remove background control s So, oh shit, yeah, the mistake is here. Okay, so I will change uh, another image. Control S. See here. <clears throat> so here, what happens? We are using the two images in the one background image. Okay. So we are going to be set the background position and everything. So this is just demonstration of the the display multiple images with the a background image. Okay. So this is all about a, what you can say CSS uh, <coughs> backgrounds. Okay, uh, I think if you know this is a how to use the background uh, image and a background position and a background size, background repeat. We already know this one. So if you have idea about what is the how to use the background image and uh, like uh, background position, background repeat, so that is more enough. Okay, the next is uh, again the CSS also it will come the colors. So we are not going to be this case here. The next we are major thing is called a gradients. So this is the uh, entry question. So gradients. Okay. <clears throat> so first we are going with the example here. So just I will take a one more file that is a index 13.html and a DOC document h2 the gradient control s first one is water h3 so there are three gradients are linear radial chronic gradient sorry conic not a chronic the first one we, we are seeing here linear gradient okay so the linear gradient means we are going to be add a multiple colors to the uh, what you can say uh, for a HTML element. So for here, I will take a, a div hash grad grad one gradient short form is I will use a grad one. So this is the generic ID is there. So here uh, I will write the style for this one style and so I want to set the um like uh sorry for the hash grad one open close brace so background image then linear gradient see we have uh, 
with others also there but linear gradient we are using linear gradient and we are going to apply the multiple colors red and yellow or something like that so control s right click open with the live server okay so it is not printing so why because any answer for this one anyone yeah the direction okay so good height see here <coughs> we have not mentioned any height that's why it is not showing so linear gradient means what it is going to be start from one position to another see it is added something like that okay it is started with the red and the yellow so i will add a one more color so that color will be uh, gold something like that control s see here so instead of gold i will use a uh, this color parrot green or something like that control s will go here see here so if you want to make a uh, some indian flag here control s see here this is called a uh, gradients so it is going to be start the top so why we need this one in the sense see this is to make a website looking good other than there is a no the what we can say uh, not much what we can say is there okay so now so it is coming from the top to uh, bottom so if you want to make a something called a to right control s see here left is a red middle is a white this is the uh, green okay so by default is a top to bottom if you mention the to right means so this is a how it will be that is there here so this is called a, a linear gradients okay so so if you want to like a from the bottom direction so to bottom control s see it will start from the uh, reversal order okay so this is called a what i can say uh, gradient so then if you want to use a instead of this one to bottom so if you want to use a degree wise so how to do 90 degree t easy control 6 so this is a 90 degree it is going to be. so if i just make a 180 degree control s will go here so this is 180 degree so if you want to make a 270 degree control s so it is something like that uh, like uh, the diagonal we can say right so this is how we can use it so we can as like we are going to be a parser a multiple images <clears throat> so we can pass the multiple colors as well so just i will remove this one a red then white green then we'll use a blue orange so these are all the i am using the red white uh, parrot green blue dark cyan 
so this is the different colors i am using control s if i just see here see all the colors are like a, it is there so just i want to make a two right you will get to know more idea control s if you see here see here red white parrot green and a blue and the last is a something called a dark sea and here it is there okay so it is a mixture of all the colors so you can set the rain, rainbow colors as well <coughs> okay so uh, like that so you are going to be use the like a, a linear gradient so we have so many properties like that so the next we are going with the radial gradient okay so there is a no difference much here so just i will change the uh, radial that's it control s i think uh, spelling mistake uh, what is this one r a d i a l gradients correct Control S. What is a mistake? Uh, background image and the radial R A V R A D R A D I A L. Radial is correct. So just I will search for internet. radial gradient okay copy control v control s so just what i will do i will just remove the some of the more colors Where? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Correct. Exactly. Control S. See, radial means whatever it will happen. So it will start from the center. That's it. Again, same thing. Whatever the colors you want to, red, white, parrot, green, blue, and a dark cyan is the outside. It is there. Okay. So if you use this color, control S. So in the uh, last you are going to use this is called a uh, uh, what you can say a radial gradient. Okay. <clears throat> so like that. So you, like uh, what you can say uh, you can have many properties there instead of uh, two right here you are going to be pass a C I R C E L E circle control s already this circle is there see here so if you want to see the uh, height will be around 800 pixel control s so you want to more a uh, 1200 pixel control s see so this is the so many properties are there but just if you just go for the this google docs this is the doc you will going to be get a n number of like what you can see uh examples here okay so what color you need to set and all of the thing you're going to be get here so this is called a, a radial gradient okay the na last one is a, the chronic gradient okay so what is a chronic uh, sorry chronic gradient is a just a, here it is a radial to c o n i t Conic, save it and uh, we need to remove this one control s we'll see here see how it is there so just i will change it to 800 height control s see here 
so it will be it is something like that a square it will start starting with red white pale green blue like this so it is a mixture of all the colors a uh, red white pale green and the blue so then it is added here uh, this last color okay so if you want to make a something darker yellow control s see here the yellow part is visible right red white green blue and the dark cyan sorry uh, here it is a what you can say yellow color so this is called a, a css a radial uh, sorry chronic gradient the next is what the css shadows what is a shadow so just i want to show here so i want to okay a linear radial just here you are going to be change the uh, uh, this thing then after that so for that just i will comment for while then i will go for a h2 the css shadow effect okay so we already seen i think text shadows but uh, we are going to be see the box shadows okay but fine so for the h2 i want to see here h2 open close brace the text shadow the text shadow is something like that 2 pixel and a 2 pixel control s if you just go here see this is the a text shadow so if you want to text shadow uh, something called we need to add a one more color control s will show here see there is a, a text shadow it is there okay so this is applying the color so we'll use a 2 pixel 2 pixel 5 pixel control s so this is a i think you want to see the difference if you just control s control s if you just see here this is the a text shadow so why we need this for the sense so if you whenever you want to create a website so you add as a text shadow this then it will be a very good <coughs> okay so this is called a, a text shadow okay so you can add a multiple shadows and all so so that is there the next we are going with the we can say box shadows what is the box shadow so box shadow is already uh, like a, it is also it is giving us some of the uh, box shadow so just i will show here a do hash box shadow so this is the my class box shadow sorry this is id so i think it will be uh, i will use a some short property bx shadow box shadow so i will use this id control c and the hash control b open close brace i want to apply the uh, width equals to 300 pixel and uh, height equals to 100 pixel padding equals to 15 pixel so background color is uh, something uh, i will use a uh, log green log green and a uh, box shadow here it is a major box see if you want to uh, like uh, you don't need to remember all those things just type a bo s h automatically first two letter and last two letter box shadow so 
टेन पिक्सल से ट्वेंटी पिक्सल कंट्रोल एस विल गो टू दी हेयर सी दिस इज हाउ इट विल बी द बॉक्स शेड ऑफ इट विल शोज ओके सो वाई वी नीड इन देंस आई विल जस्ट गो हियर सी एस एस बॉक्स शेड ऑफ uh what is that uh, this one you just go through it you can copy anything see how it looks now so it is something like that overlay i will just copy it i will just go here i will add here control p i will just remove this one okay control s if you see here see how it looks now it is looking something it is floating it is something or like it is showing so if you want the other uh, box shadow you just copy this one and you just add here so why we need in the sense so it will looks good that's it see in the background something brown shadow is there so you have multiple uh, what you can say control v <coughs> box shadow one two same thing i will use copy box shadow one so i will add a break tag to make a some space control s so it is added a box shadow so i will use a different uh, shadow which one i will use this one copy and i will replace with the second one control s if i see here see here this is a one box shadow and this is a one box shadow okay so why we need in the sense so it will looks good that's it so which one i will use this box shadow i will use control s control v control s if you see here see this is how the box shadow it will looks okay so we have a uh, like a, what we can say the n number of a, <clears throat> so uh, n number of box shadow so you can uh, pass the different colors so like that so you can uh, having a, a different box shadows okay so this is all about our today's session okay so